Well, we've been talking about a pretty you know, wrenching and gruesome topic, and um, and I want to turn to something a little bit on a happier more note, cheery. a little more cheery, and that is our red carpet premiere. We actually haven't talked together yeah. since that event, and uh, I thought it was a great event. I mean, I thought it was a really good mood. Sometimes at some of these events, there's a lot of rivalry, there's a lot of like backbiting there's a lot of this guy had the limelight and i didn't and um and interestingly here and even in the absence of trump because trump put out a statement on truth social which i read from the stage but trump wasn't there at mar-a-lago but lots of influencers were there of course there were a lot of political figures who were there giuliani was there uh, michael flynn was there uh, Carrie Lake was there. There were various um, prominent figures from media and social media who were there. Um, of course, Juan Gino was there. And uh, But I thought the mood was very relaxed and was very much focused on, on the movie. Like, let's watch this film. What is this film trying to tell us? And, um, and it's interesting for us because we're so involved in the sausage making of the film. So... We we envision it and script it. We go over that. We then bring in all the footage, and finally it all comes together. And yet, even if we look at it and go, that's really good, or that really works, we don't know until we, we put it out there. Yeah, and we don't know the, the reaction of other people because, you know, it, it's like it's like having a child, right? You think that that child is the most <laughs> beautiful, is the most beautiful baby ever, you know, like, oh, don't you love my kid? Everybody's like, yeah, but yeah, okay, it's your kid, only, you know, a, the baby's only as beautiful as a mother could love, you know, that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. but I do think that in some in some way, even, you know, even I know when, when we've done a really good job on a film, because because there have been other films that I feel like, you know, after watching it, mm, I wish we had done this and this and this instead. I wish we had put this in, taken this out. You know, yeah. I'm more critical because yeah. because of it. But I do think that this one, I think we did the best the best job we could have done. Yeah. Really, you know, and we had and a little so, more time. We, that we were a little less rushed than we yeah. were with Two Thousand Mules, and so as a result, we had a little more time to just polish the final product mm -hmm. uh, and i think the emotional arc of the film is yeah. really powerful yeah well and and also just the fact that we did feature these people in the movie and and they were all super powerful stories i mean we took we took and 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 you know what's what's so what's so amazing to me is that there are so many other stories that yeah. we we couldn't have possibly put them all in the movie because it would have been a 10-hour movie but I mean, look at the impact on people like Jerry Parna or Balanos. They they literally felt like we we vindicated them. We gave them their dignity back. And these are people whose dignity has been violated. Their spirit has been crushed. I mean, Jerry Parna basically put out a a, a message uh, of a couple of this is before the movie, basically saying I've sort of lost the will to live. I mean, I felt so bad when I read that because I of course knew her story and. Uh, and yet she seems a little bit refreshed, a little energized, a little bit like, okay, well, somebody cares. Somebody's putting yeah, the truth out right, right. and other people will get to see it. Right. And so my nephew's life will not be totally in vain. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel yeah. just very gratified. Obama said the same thing. The same thing. The same thing. Uh, because I think he thought, you know, what? What in the world has happened, and 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 why me? And you know, even though he and he says, you know, he wasn't arrested by the FBI, but they harassed him. Uh, I mean, and, they gave him a stroke. They they, they hurt his, yes. they damaged his health. They damaged his health. They, uh, they abused Mark Hauk's family. Yes. And you said Mark Hauk's wife was there, yeah, and she was in tears yeah. at the. Um, and so, I mean, it's just it's 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 amazing what uh, what the power of film can do, but but I also feel like. Like this movie is bringing out something that people, you know, and and one of the interviews that that you had, they said we knew of all these isolated incidents and we knew that this was going on, but we didn't know that it was like a thread that that made a story like Police State. That's what and a film so, does. Is so it, it, yeah, it shows you and it puts the pieces together. Right. It gives you a, a timeline, a history, if you will, a genealogy of the police state. So the whole, all the pieces now fit into perspective. I mean, I've been amazed at how things happen after the movie. 
the release of the trans shooter manifesto or partial manifesto, all of this ties into police state. And yet we didn't know about that particular right. thing before yep. the movie. Yep. And yet it fits right in. So it's the power. You know that you've got an explanatory framework that works when it's making sense even of events that even, occurred. Even after, because, after. because then people go, oh, of course, we're moving into a police state. And uh, yeah, you apparently, know? apparently, uh, according to our friend Bruce, I, I didn't hear, because I was watching parts of the debate, I didn't hear the Trump rally, but apparently Trump was using the phrase police state and talking about the nature of a police state. So these ideas percolate out. They influence the way people think about the world. And, and that's really the reward of making a movie like this. Guys, this is a perfect time to join my Locals channel as an annual subscriber and get the new film Police State included for free. I post a lot of exclusive content on Locals, including content that's censored on other social media platforms. On Locals, you get Dinesh Unchained, Dinesh Uncensored. You can also interact with me directly. I do a live weekly Q&A every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. No topic is off limits. I've uploaded a bunch of films to locals, documentaries, feature films, mine, but also films by other independent producers. And you know about the new film Police State. If you're an annual subscriber, as I mentioned, you get to stream and watch all of it for free. So check out my channel. It's Dinesh.locals.com. I'd love to have you along for this great ride again. It's Dinesh.locals.com.